In this final video of the series, I want to go beyond blogging. And in particular, I want to show you how you can go about integrating Facebook, Twitter and YouTube to provide both content and to spread the word about your blog. A simple way of, of course, spreading the word about your blog through social media is to add the Shareaholic plugin that we discussed in an earlier video. And that's going to allow visitors to your site to interact with your blog and to be able to share that on social media. The other thing is you want to put your blog URL into your Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus profiles so that when people go to your Facebook page, or when they go to your Google Plus page or when they follow you on Twitter, they'll have your blog URL and just through curiosity, they'll probably click on that and that will take them to your blog. And if the content is compelling, they'll come back time and time again. You also want to have your website URL at the end of your YouTube videos so that when people have finished watching the video, uh, they'll know which URL it is. And again, just through curiosity, they may well enter that URL into their web browser and discover your blog. And as I said earlier, if the content is compelling, then they will... Uh, stick around and read the articles. You also want to have a clickable link at the top of the description. So right under where your video is, you want to have a clickable link that will take people to your blog. And you know, that is a very good way of getting traffic from YouTube, from people actually visit the YouTube site. But you want to have the URL actually in the picture at the end of your YouTube videos as well, because if they're shared on websites, like I'm going to show you in a moment, then people will still be able to find the URL. OK, let's talk about how you can insert YouTube videos into your WordPress blog post, because having a video on your blog gives people a good reason to stick around for a while. And after they finish watching the video, they're going to notice other things that you have on your blog. They're going to start reading the blog posts and so on. So having a YouTube video on your blog is a very good idea indeed. OK, I've come here to YouTube and this is the video I'm going to insert. It was a news item fairly recently at the time that I'm recording this video. And it's about a great white shark beaching itself in Cape Cod. And as you can see at the time that I'm making this video, it's been viewed over six million times. So what I want to do is insert this into a blog post. So I'm going to come up here to where it says share and click on that link. And then you have two options here. You've got the share link you've got the embed code and you also have the email code what i'm going to do is come here to share and i'm going to copy that to my computer's clipboard so come here to copy and then i'm going to come back to wordpress and add a new post in so i've come to posts and add new so I'm going to enter the title. And now I'm going to click on this button here that says Add Media. Opens up this window and I want to insert from URL. So click here. And then I'm going to paste in the URL to the YouTube video. Just Control and V on my PC. Mac users, I'm sure you know what to do and then click here where it says insert into post and you can see that's what it's going to look like and i'm on text mode here so you can see it's showing the code the embed code if i was going to use the visual setup here the visual tab it would actually show a preview of uh, the youtube video as you can see here and if I wanted to add any text underneath, I could do it now. Let's just preview that to see what it looks like. And there we go. That's what it looks like. You can see 
we now have our YouTube video embedded. Now, one other thing I'll just show you, um, obviously, if I was doing this for real, I would want to change the um, all in one SEO settings. Let's just do that. Uh, just scroll down a bit here. And you can see, I would want to add the title and the description and so on and keywords etc let's just uh, put something in here obviously if i was doing this for real i would uh, spend some more time doing it and do it properly and i can click here to say publish to publish it to my blog incorporating twitter tweets into your blog means that you're going to have a lot of content that's constantly updated. And there are several ways of incorporating Twitter tweets into your blog so that when you make a tweet, and you can do that, you know, from your cell phone or whatever, uh, then that automatically updates your blog at the same time. Now, there are two plugins that will enable you to integrate Twitter into your WordPress blog. The first one is Twitter, and this is the official Twitter plugin for WordPress. And what it will enable you to do is to embed Twitter content into your blog. So when you post something on Twitter, or if you're following somebody else on Twitter, you can then insert that into uh, your WordPress blog, and it'll be updated every time there's a new tweet on this particular account, you can show it as a post on your uh, WordPress blog. The other one, let me just scroll down a bit, is this one here, which is Twitter Widget Pro. And what this does is it enables you to have your latest tweets displayed in the sidebar of your blog. So you enter the Twitter account information, and then every time you add a tweet onto your Twitter account, it will show up in the sidebar of your blog. So you can show your Twitter feed constantly in your WordPress blog as an additional amount of content in addition to your posts and pages. Linking your blog and Facebook is another good way to both get content and to get interaction between the two different types of media. And the plugin that I recommend for this is Custom Facebook Feed by Smash Balloon. And this enables you to display a customizable Facebook feed of your Facebook page or any Facebook page on your blog. So when you make a post to Facebook and it goes into your Facebook timeline, then you could also have it onto your blog right away. And finally, don't forget about your RSS feed. You know, with all these different types of linking uh, your blog to social media and that sort of thing, people tend to neglect the RSS feed, but it is still a very good way of sharing your own blog's content across other media on other people's blogs and on other people's RSS readers that they get on their desktop and also of getting new content for your own blog from other people's RSS feeders. So it is a very useful way of doing it. A bit old fashioned, but it is still very much something that can be beneficial. And I hope you found these videos beneficial. And I wish you every success in your blogging efforts.